Everybody and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby, and today I'm coming to you from Orlando, Florida, the Walt Disney World. And as a bit of a change of pace, we're going to read a psalm, Psalm number one. So turn your Bibles there, Psalm number one. But before we start to read that and take a closer look at it, I want to I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and your families. Get the word around, the word of God. Now let's say our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Lord, we ask you enlighten our hearts and minds that we may learn and understand your teachings and apply them to our lives. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, Psalm number one. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in, seat in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season and his leaf does not wither, and all that he does he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. The word of God. All right, let's take a closer look at this. The first verse reads, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Blessed is the man. The Hebrew term here is asher. And the Greek word is makarios. Asher, makarios, means um, privileged and happy is the man. Privileged and happy. Keeping it in context, privileged and happy in the grace of God is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. Well, you know, St. Matthew in his gospel, chapter 5, verses 3 through 11, uses that word makarios, the Greek for blessed is, when he gives us the Beatitudes, when Christ gives us the Beatitudes. Let's take a look at the Beatitudes. St. Matthew, chapter 5. I thought I had it. Oh, I do. I thought I had it marked. Okay, so we know the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Now let's translate it a little differently. Privileged and happy are those in the grace of God, for they are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed, that is, happy and privileged, are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Happy and privileged in the grace of God are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. I think if you read the Beatitudes that way, you'll get a, a better and newer understanding of what Christ is teaching us. Okay. Going on. Verse 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Now, we're going to have a little problem with that in a Christian sense. We just got done reading... Galatians, and throughout Galatians, St. Paul was telling us that those who live under the law are living like slaves. Now we read this. How do we as Christians um, balance, balance this? 
Uh, how do we bring it into context for us? Well, I think that St. Augustine does it, and he does it very well. Let me read what he has to say. The law, says the apostle, Paul, is not made for the just man. And he reiterates that, St. Paul, in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. But going on, it is one thing to be within the law and another to be under the law. He who is within the law acts according to the law. He who is under the law is made to act according to the law. The one is a free man and the other is a slave. Let's turn over to 1 Timothy and see what Paul has to say about the law. Now we're going to start at verse 8, chapter 1, verse 8 of 1 Timothy. Now we know that the law is good if one uses it lawfully. Understanding this, that the law is not laid down for the just, but for the lawless and disobedient. So if you're living within the moral law of God, and that's what we're talking about here, the moral law of God, you're free under with the law because you're living are already living within God's moral law. But if you are made to forced to live under the law, then you will become a slave and a slave to the law. You're not willingly, happily living within the law. That's what that's what's going on here. All righty, let's go on to chapter uh, verse four. But the wicked are not so. He's referring to man is like a tree that grows near the water. Lots of water and it grows well and prospers and gives its leaf and its fruit in its proper season and it prospers. But the wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Now when you harvest wheat, in those times you harvested the whole stock you cut it down at the ground, you brought it to the threshing floor. You would beat it, okay? And that's called winnowing it, separating the chaff, that's the outer kernel from the good fruit, the seed inside the wheat. Now the kernel is very light, and it will just blow away. And the good, good seed, the wheat itself would be kept stored and eventually ground and used as flour. That was good, but the chaff was no good, none at all. And so it'd have to be disposed of some way. Let's turn to Luke chapter three. And in chapter three of Luke, we read St. John the Baptist, okay? Um, he's answering a question about baptism. In uh, chapter 3, verse 16, we begin. John answered them all, saying, I baptize you with water, but he, who's he who is mightier than I is coming, the strap of whose sandal I am not worthy to untie, and he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. The wicked will be gathered like this chaff and will be burned with unquenchable fire. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. So my friends, that's what we have for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto you.